Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. Uh, please support me on Patreon. I'm posting a lot of stuff on, on there. And um, yeah, message me on Discord if you have any questions. This is a very, very popular problem called LRU cache. Uh, LRU means least recently used. And uh, if you don't know what a cache is, a cache is like... Um, what is a cache? A cache is like a cache is like another way that we're talking about. We we always talk about using memory to speed up our algorithms, right? Like using data, we can use data like a hash map to store you know previous results or you know something like that, and we can use them instead of doing a extra loop or whatever. So using memory often speeds up our algorithms. Uh, a cache is used similarly. It's memory that uh, holds very recent results. So. For, for example, um, if you have a little app that, you know, like for messages or something like that or whatever, um, you know, you're storing these messages in a database somewhere, right? So you have a conversation and, you know, you don't want to open your app to like message someone. You want to see your past messages and you don't want to open it up and wait like five seconds to like have a request go get your messages and come back from a database so what you'll do is you'll store them in a cache in memory directly on your phone. And that way you open it up. There's not like a request to a database that comes back and gets it. You store things that you recently visit and stuff like that. So it instantly pops up. Um, so you use memory to do that so we can avoid like requests or something like that. But you don't have infinite memory. I can't store an infinite amount of things. So at some point you're going to have to wait for loading to occur. Like there has to be requests and stuff like that. So... Um, that's usually when our cache fills up and, uh, yeah, we have to, you know, um, we have to decide what we want in the cache. So LRU is a really common cache algorithm because we want the most recently used things in the cache, not the least recently used things. The things that we're looking at the most, we want to keep so that we have instant access to them and things that we haven't looked at in a while. Well, we can, we can get that out of the cache because maybe, you know, we'll take a request. We don't even look at it very often. So we'll wait for the request, right? Um, that's just one example. You, there's caches are used for a million things, but like that would be like, um, you know, just a basic example. It just stores things and you want, LRU is a good algorithm because you don't want to, if you're not using something, then you can get rid of it. So LRU is um, a caching algorithm that uh, gets rid of the thing that you're using the least from the cache and keeps things that you're using the most, right? Um, so this problem is design and implement a data structure for least recently used cache. It should support the following operations, get and put. Get key uh, gets the value and it will always be positive of the key that exists in the cache. Okay. Put key value, set uh, or insert the value if the key is not already present. Present uh, When the cache has reached its capacity, it should invalidate the least recently used item before inserting a new item. The cache is initialized with a positive capacity. Could you do both operations in O of 1 time complexity? Okay. Um, so we have this class LRU cache that's going to be our cache that we're building. And you could see that we're doing puts and gets. Uh, so already I'm thinking hash map with keys and values, puts and gets, right? And also, if you don't know, hash maps are um, instant lookup. They want constant complexity. So hash maps are instant uh, put and get operations. Like literally, this is for sure a hash map. Like it's get and puts, keys and values, and you want constant time. That's exactly what a hash map is. You get and put things uh, instantly. So the hash map's perfect for this. However, the problem is we have to, uh, for our cache, we're going to have to be deleting the least recently used things and uh, the most recently used things we're going to be moving to the front. So like in a ca a cache would look like, um, let's say our cache has a memory size of three, right? So our cache is size three. And uh, in this case, it's going to be called capacity. So we're going to say, okay, our capacity is three. So we put in a key value pair of one, one, then two, two, then three, three, right? And now we want to put in a key value pair of four, four, but we're at capacity. We cannot fill anything else up in our cache. Well, the least recently used thing that we haven't seen in a while is uh, one, one. We put that in first, you know? 
Um, so whatever we put in first, if we haven't used it in a while or accessed it or whatever, the last thing we've touched, we're going to delete. We're going to get rid of this, pop it off, and make space for 4-4. Four, four. And whatever we've used last. Now, say we get, we do a get on uh, 2, right? So we get this. When we get this, uh, that means we're accessing it to, like, say we just got the value for some reason from the cache. Like you just viewed something on your phone or something and you updated the cache. The, this gets moved to the um, front of what we're going to be looking at. Uh, the front of the cache because um, it's what we used most recently and we want to delete what we used least recently. So if we're adding another node after that, then we would, you know, delete that. So when we use things, we want to move it to the front of the cache. And when we delete things, we want to uh, delete the re least recently used thing. To do this, we're going to have to use a linked list simply because um, deletions and insertions are... Um, constant time but not only that it's because that doesn't matter because hash maps put and get are constant time it matters because we need ordering how do we know what the least recently used thing is in a hash map when it's an it, hash maps are unordered so like you don't even know you know they have keys and stuff but you don't know what the key and value pair are going to be um and we need a linked list to you know, keep some kind of structure here where we're basically, we're going to use a linked list so that we can put things in constant time to the most recently used things will be at the front of our list right after the head. So we'll just do like head.next is equal to the new node, um, which will be the new thing we're inserting. And then at the end, when we delete things, we'll pop it off the tail. So that's the idea here. You use a doubly linked list and you, you because, um, we have reference to the tail and the head and the previous and the next, and you'll see that come into play. And then we use a hash map to do the gets and the puts. But you need both in this case, but um, that'll get us to where we need to be. Let me know if you have any questions about that. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our class node for our doubly linked list. Um, just declare that wherever you want. I'm just going to declare it down here. Uh, it's going to have a key. It's going to have a val. It's going to have a next because this is a doubly linked list node, it's gonna have a prev and an x. So we'll, call, we'll put prev here to make it cleaner and an x. So we have our class node. Um, we're gonna have a head and a tail for our cache. So we're gonna have node, we'll say, these are final, we'll make these final because we're not gonna change these. So we'll say uh, final node head um, is equal to new node. And it's just gonna, you can just leave it empty. Uh, final node tail is equal to new node. Um, and then we're going to have a hash map, like I said. So we're going to have a key be an integer, and then we're going to have our value be the node. So we're going to say a map of integer node. We'll call it node map, call it whatever you want. Um, and then what else do we need? Just capacity. So we'll call it cache capacity, just to make that clear. Because we cannot break capacity, otherwise we have to pop a node off, right? So... Um, this is just the class constructor, LRU cache class. So this gets called when you make a new instance of our uh, cache class. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to uh, initialize our hash map. So we'll say node map is equal to new hash map. And you could actually pass in the capacity to the hash map constructor. Um, what else do we need to do? Oh, this dot cache capacity, set that to whatever capacity they're setting in, depending on how big the capacity is. And then we just want to connect our head dot next is going to be equal to tail and tail dot prev is going to be equal to head. So this just connects our, uh, you know, head and tail nodes together for the cache. Um, we're going to need to do those uh, add methods for the remove and add. So we're going to say this will add an... Um, we, we have an empty cache. We're going to be using add to add nodes to our doubly linked list. Um, and then we'll use put. It's almost like add is adding nodes to the linked list and put is putting them in the hash map. So we could do add a node. Um, actually, no, put is not putting them in the hash map. Forget I even said that. Sorry about that. Put is a hash map method. So just forget that I said that. Uh, we just need to add to add to the front of the list and um, public void remove to remove from the end of the list. I don't know why I said that. That was just stupid. Um, 
Okay, so we should be good. So to remove a node, we're just gonna set this up. If you guys know what how to remove a node, it's pretty easy, especially with doubly linked list. We'll just get reference to the next node is equal to node.next. From we're gonna pass in a node to remove in this method. And then we'll say node prev node is equal to node.prev. So this is the node we wanna remove, this node right here. And to remove it, we'll just say, okay, next nodes.prev is equal to prev node and prev nodes.next is equal to next node. And what this does is just removes the reference to this at all because the next node's previous was this node, but now we're sending it to the previous node and the previous next was this node, but now we're sending it to the next node. So that is an easy remove method, really easy uh, for an add method. We are gonna add it to the front of the cache because we're gonna be removing from the tail. So we'll just say um, head next is equal to node.next. Then we'll do, um, what are we gonna do? We're gonna say head.next is equal to node, uh, node, boom. And then um, node.prev is equal to head. So this just makes the reference to the heads next to um, the node that we're adding and then the nodes prev to the head. So it's the node right after. The head is really nothing. The head is a dummy node and the tail is a dummy node. They don't actually represent values. They just are pointers for us to actually get access to the real head. So add is really adding this node as the head, but we're using uh, head as like a dummy node basically. Let me know if you have any questions about that. This is kind of a complicated one just because of all the code. There's a lot of code in this problem. Um, but also head.next, we have to account for that node as well. So we have to do node.next is equal to head next and uh, head next dot prev is equal to node, boom. So we have a good method to add nodes to our cache and we have a re good remove method to remove any node we want. Um, for put and get, we just wanna get the value and put a new node into the list. So we're gonna say uh, node, node is equal, put actually can overwrite a node. That's what put does. It either adds it or it overrides it. So uh, node will be equal to node map dot get key. And uh, if node is not equal to null, then we will uh, update the value. So we'll say node dot val is equal to value. And then we'll say remove node and add node. And we do this because if the node's there and we're overriding the value, that, that counts as us using it, right? Like I said in the cache, the most recently used item will be moved to the front and the least recently used gets deleted. So when we're overwriting a node, like if the node uh, key one value two, we want to change it to a value of three, you know, we're overwriting it, so it moves to the front of the cache. So what we can do is we can just remove it completely, like remove the old node, like this gets the old node, we remove the old node, then we add it with its, we set its new value. Well, let's actually put this here, then, just to make it more clear. We remove the node that exists, now we say node.val is equal to value, we update the node's value, and then we add it back, and add automatically puts it at the front. Okay. Um, that seems good. Okay, otherwise, if the node doesn't exist, we're not overwriting it, so we have to make a new one. And uh, first thing we'll wanna do is actually check, have we reached capacity if we're adding a whole new node? This is overwriting it, but if we're adding a whole new node, we wanna say, okay, if node map.size is equal to cache capacity, you know, the hash map is f um, the same size as the capacity, then that means that we've reached capacity and we gotta remove something. So we gotta do, First of all, node map dot rem we're removing from the tail, like I said. So we remove tail dot prev dot key. We remove the key from the hash map. We remove it from the hash map um, the, that uh, that node, and then we also have to remove it from the linked list. So we'll do remove um, the node, right? Yeah, because it is um, no, 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 no. We'll remove the ta the tail dot prev node. Sorry, we're removing the tail. And we do tail.prev because like I said, tail is a dummy. It just references the actual tail. Um, okay, so we fixed the capacity problem. Now we can actually add our nodes. You could say node new node is equal to new node. Um, set the key and value up. Hopefully my face isn't in the way of any of this, dude. 
this is a long uh, video compared to all the rest of them because you know I don't know who else is doing this video but it's freaking a lot of it's like 180 lines for this one problem um okay so you actually create the new node now so now all you have to do is node map dot put like the actual hash map put with the key and the new node you created so we're adding the new node onto the hash map and then we have to also add it to the linked list so we'll do add on new node okay one last method is just get and get is pretty easy actually you just we'll we're going to return negative one if it's not in the um hash map and then we'll do node is equal to no node map dot get um from the key and if node is not equal to null then we can return it so and we're getting it so we have to put it to the front of the cache because we're technically using it if we're getting the value so what we'll do is we'll say result is equal to node dot val um and then we'll remove it and add it to the front remove and add is just moving to the front remove removes and add added to the okay that was dumb for me to explain that but and we're going to return results so if the node's not null it will update result to the current node value so we can get it and move it to the front of the cache because we've used it and if it is null that's not in the hash map and that node doesn't exist so we just return negative one this should be the whole problem uh look at all these freaking mess ups here and that's why i didn't want to do this video dude because i have uh what did what do you think we even did wrong guys because i hate doing this over again i don't want to do this over again all right guys sorry uh like look what look look at the problem this is why it doesn't work because it says uh i put i got reference to the head next because I put um, node.next. So, you know, that sucks. But um, I would have never known that I messed up there because the error is null pointer and I would have just never known unless I did like a ton of debugging. But that's the problem. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to edit this because I'm not doing that again. That's too long of a video for me to do multiple times. But, um, you know, I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, look at all these errors, dude. Uh, but, um, yeah, it's a very long problem. I think just understanding the concepts, the main idea here is just hash map, W linked list. If you understand the time complexity, this is a pretty long problem to expect someone to solve without a single error. I'm sure your interviewer would help you through this because uh, the syntax is pretty tough to do without making a single error. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have uh, different ideas about this. But, uh I appreciate you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. All right. See ya.